question, how many bankers does it take to power a light bulb? Answer, more than one if you want enough light to read more than a page of a financial report. Julian Pottergill cycles for pleasure, but right now he's struggling to generate the energy required to power just one light bulb or two. Uh, yeah, I've just been uh, riding an energy bike, and uh, what it does is it shows how much energy, as you can tell, I would use to power a normal everyday appliance. Whoa! Tired. <laughs> The message is clear. There aren't enough hard cycling bankers in London to keep the lights on even for one day in a typical city office. This is just one of the devices employed by Global Action Plan, who emphasise practical methods to get their message about energy conservation into the heart of big corporations. Global Action Plan founder Truin Resterick explains how he got started and why he chooses such methods to get the message across. So I started Global Action Plan in 1993. Uh, I moved from Friends of the Earth where I was responsible for their marketing and fundraising. And the reason I did it was I wanted to create an organisation that was about practical change. Traditionally, environmental groups have not been great at communicating. It's tended to be small font on grey paper saying, do this or do that. And we found that people want to receive messages in different ways. So we've created interactive tools. We have a, a carbon torture chamber, which has an energy bike, which people pedal so they can feel the amount of energy used by different appliances. And we've got a green driving game which challenges you to drive as far as you can on a small amount of petrol. Uh, this is called the Eco Driving Simulator um, and it's uh, simulated to try and promote green driving through sort of simple messages like encouraging people to change gear at low revs and also encouraging people to anticipate so when you see a junction approaching what you look to do is try and slow down in advance rather than using brakes. So it's very simple messages um, and communicated to audiences that aren't traditionally reached through uh, environmental messaging generally. Translating the message into a language corporations can deal with are business project officers like Charlotte High. I'm on the programmes team that works with uh, large businesses, um, our environment champions teams, and we run projects with larger businesses to help them reduce their environmental impact, so very practical projects. It's about engaging staff throughout the organisation um, and changing behaviour. GAP focused their efforts on key areas of energy saving, like switching off appliances. We had already started on the environmental path. We had um, started to recycle our, as much waste as we possibly could. We started to measure and monitor our energy and our water waste. And then GAP came in and helped. We had the passion, but we didn't particularly have the know-how. So I think we made a good team. Waste reduction and recycling are important parts of Global Action Plan strategy. First, they recruit a team inside the client organisation. The project started um, through the process of recruiting a, a green team, or a team of environment champions, um, and uh, we ran some initial training sessions with this, this team of champions and really got them to feed into the project um, what they thought would work at Investec um, and what we thought would work. For example, the green team came up with the idea of illustrating the amount of paper that gets used in the uh, offices, which is a huge amount, by building a giant tower out of empty boxes, which they um, set up in the atrium. The paper pile was a huge success. Not only was it a potent symbol, it generated a lot of conversation in the organisation, conversation that spilled out of the walls of Investec and into the streets of London's Square Mile. And staff have taken to it very well. Um, we, we came in slowly and um, now everybody, I think, knows about us pr pretty well. Uh, the whole model has been well received and it is now being rolled out throughout our other global offices uh, within Investec. The key message we've got from running this project at Investec is that uh, we've been able to demonstrate to other financial institutions as well that we talk to that working on the environment or running a project on the environment that involves staff doesn't have to be something that's fluffy or perhaps draconian even, um, but it can be something that really fits into the way they work um, and we've had a lot of interest from other financial institutions as a result. Global Action Plan's methods achieve impressive results, a reduction of up to 25% in energy use and 34% in waste across the organisations they've worked with since 1997. 
Companies are realising that they've really got to address the climate change issue and they're looking to do that in more innovative ways. And Global Action Plan is going to try and help them do that. For example, helping their staff to volunteer in the community on climate change issues. And our plans are, over the next few years, to work with more and more companies in different sectors, helping them to get this message across in a much stronger manner.